What's going on, y'all? I'm trying to go to work right now. Uh, about to uh, tell y'all what happened today. Ain't nothing really crazy. But uh, I'm kind of tight. So I'm going to Walgreens right now. That's where I work. For the people that know me, that's y'all know where I work. For the people that don't, I work at Walgreens. Um, so earlier today, I was at work in the morning. Uh, my other job for a valet company, you know, I park cars for a living. Well, not really for a living, but I park cars for now. So, I was at work in the morning, and there's a dude that I don't like, but I ain't even gonna speak much on that. I just hate when I have, like, terrible workers, and that pisses me off, yo. Like, I'm trying, you know what, whatever, I guess we gonna speak on it a little bit, but, um, I was over here trying to help him out, doing what he got to do. And then, you know, every time I do that, he get mad at me. Like, I'm like, yo, why are you getting mad at me if I'm just trying to help you out? Like, oh, my God. Like, and then it pisses me off because it's like, I'm not trying to have you get fired. You feel me? I'm not trying to have them send you home from today's work. So I'm just trying to help you out. The supervisor going to tell me that, yo, these people, they don't, they don't care. They don't really care about you. They don't care about work, really. They're just here to make money and leave. Like, you want to get the work done. You want to make sure that no one has a problem. But they don't think like you. And I'm like, I'm like yeah. And I'm like, it sucks that I think that way. Um, he was all sitting there telling me that, um, what was he telling me? He was, he, he was explaining to me that um, I need to, you know, if they mess up their job, then that's on them. If they have a, if they have a big workload, that's on them. And me, I just gotta worry about myself. And that's the thing. It's like I ain't even, I ain't trying to have nobody, you know, have a hard time at work. That's just me. Like if I, if I'm able to help you out, if I'm good on my side and I'm able to help you out, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna help you out. So it's like, I don't know. That just got me tight because. People just love taking advantage, and then when you try to talk to them to have, when you try to talk to them so that they can better themselves at their own job, they get mad at you. But you know what? I'm just gonna leave it as is. If he if he has a problem, then I'm gonna he gonna have to handle that himself because I can't be helping nobody out no more. Um, and then one of my coworkers at that job this morning actually. His car sound, his car sound loud. I Me, mean, you know, I'm not no car head, but I'm fiending for my car to sound loud. Like, I just think, me personally, I just think that that's cool. He was telling me, for y'all car heads out here, y'all know what I'm talking about. Because I barely know what I'm talking about. He said that um, he did a resonator delete and a muffler delete. And that you, your, your whole exhaust is now a straight pipe. So that basically makes your car sound loud because the resonator and the muffler, when you take those off, that stops, you know, the silencing of the whole loud noise that's coming from your engine. So I wanted to do that. He was saying that, that he got a spot that he did his at because they know him. He paid 150 It took them 40 minutes. It was cool, all that. So I'm like, oh, wow, there's a, there's a shop that's right by me. And I'm like, you know what? Let me go over there. You feel me? Let me go over there and see if I could do that. I went over there. Uh, yo, um, I need this done by like two o'clock. Mind you, I got that. I went there after work. I got there like 12.05. I was like, I need this done by like two o'clock because I got some place to be, you feel me? You know, because I heard that it, it don't take long to do it. You know what I'm saying? 40 minutes, maybe an hour or so. It is what it is. Bada boom. I don't know why I said that. But, um, so then... And I was like, you know, my there was this guy that I know that he said that he did it, and he paid one forty, la la la. So then he he calls up the boss, and he's trying to you know trying to work something out with the boss, and trying to get a price for him, trying to get a price for me and stuff like that. And um, they ended up giving me a price, but all right, mind you, they put my car on the lift. What I didn't know, I'm I'm gonna get to that. So. Um, what's it called? So then the boss calls and he tells him everything that I'm trying to do and all that. The boss says that the price is 275 I said, nah. Mind you, I just got paid today. 
I, I'm not necessarily broke. I'm just stingy. I ain't trying to pay an absurd amount of money. I was like, nah. Nah, I ain't trying to do all that. I said, you know what, never mind. Because me, I think this is God telling me don't spend my money. Because if y'all if y'all know where I go to school, St. John's, that school is a lot. It's a hell of a lot of money. So I'm gonna go, I think that I think that's God telling me to save my money. So that's 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 what I'm just gonna decide to do. I'm just gonna save my money and that's that. I really wanted to do that to my car because I've been wanting to do a lot of stuff to my car. I wanted to tint the windows, get some black rims, change the brake calipers to a different color, um, get an exhaust pipe, all that. I wanted to do all that to my car, but sorry right. i guess it just didn't it just didn't work out that way because mind you i have the money i can do all that i can i can get a whole exhaust pipe i have the money to get me a uh to get me a, a turbocharged engine i could do all that but i just don't want to spend all that money i don't feel like spending all that money because once i spend all, spend all that money then it's a wrap so i do i'm just not trying to do all that so yeah i went to, and then okay so after they gave me the price and i said you know what now nah, i'm good i'll probably come back another day or something like that i lied i wasn't coming back but when i said that um then he goes oh did the boss tell you that it, it's a 50 dollar fee to get your car put on the lift i was like he didn't tell me no price the, the he like i barely had enough time to get my words out and nothing like that so yeah he Man, I was tight because they basically made me pay fifty dollars just just for them to put my car on the lift. You know what I'm saying? You put you put it on the thing, it lifts it up. Just for them to put the car on the lift was fifty dollars. I'm like, you can't you can't work nothing out with me. Like he never told me about no price, so really I shouldn't pay a price. But I was like, you know what? You cool or whatever? I'm gonna pay. It. It's whatever. I'm not feeling. I also wasn't going that hard because I used my tip money to pay that $50. I didn't really, I didn't use money on my credit card. I didn't use no money on my debit card. I just used my tip money that I got from my job. So I wasn't too mad. I was just more upset. Ow. I was just more, I was just more upset that, um, that I couldn't do nothing in my car. Cause I've been wanting to do stuff to my car for mad long, but it's all right. It's alright. It'll it, it'll come it'll come another time. Maybe that's also God telling me that you know the Dodge Charger is where it's at. If I want all that done in my car, I should just get a car that got all that, and that's my Dodge Charger RT. But that's when I get that. I just wanted to put y'all on about that about what happened. Um, going to Walgreens. I doubt anything will happen later today. But uh. Yeah, that's it. I just wanted to tell y'all about that nonsense in the morning with these people, with, with this guy that I work with. And then I wanted to tell y'all about the whole situation that I wanted to do with this car and didn't do it. So that's that, y'all. We'll see y'all in the next video. Damn, I don't even know how to do no outro no more. Like, my outro used to be fire. Like, not even fire, but like, it just used to be like, I used to know what to do. I'm talking too much. Bye.